What's up, YouTube? Slap right, doors. I'm back at it again. again with another deck profile. Today we got Nephthys, pretty cool deck. Just got support from Hidden Ar uh, Hidden Arsenal, <laughs> Hidden Summoners, uh, along with Prank Kids and what was the other deck, Jared? Uh, my trash. Oh yeah, <laughs> my Gashi. All right, guys, we'll get right into it. Forty card deck. Uh, of course, we play one Sacred Phoenix. Um, basically, what she does: old school card. Uh, she gets destroyed. She comes back next standby phase and wipes out backfield. 2400 attack. She kind of, kind of big, not too big, but she all right. And then we play one Chronicler. Basically, what she does is just recycles your graveyard by destroying a card from your hand and then getting one back from your graveyard. And then when she dies, next standby phase, you can just grab another Nephthys card from your graveyard and add it back to your hand. And then we play one Matriarch. She's kind of like Lumina. Basically, destroy a card in your hand, get a, or special summon a Nephthys level four or lower from your graveyard in defense, and its effects are negated. And then when she dies, um, I believe she just special summons herself again uh, next standby phase. So you could just recycle the Nephthys cards. And then, of course, we play three Disciples. Basically, what she does is you can destroy a card in your hand, and if you do, just add a Nephthys monster. And then when she dies, um, you could add a Nephthys spell and trap card from your deck to your hand. So that's why you play three of her. She's basically Stratos of the deck. And then we play three Devity of the Nephthys. Basically, what she does is she's like your recursion when she dies. She, you could destroy another Nephthys card in your hand and special summon her back. And then when she's summoned, you could special summon a Nephthys from your deck. And I believe it gets destroyed at the or this card gets destroyed at the end phase. Three of her. And then three of the big chicken. This is the big guy. 3000 beater. Basically pops cards um, for destroying other Nephthys cards. I believe it doesn't target. So that's pretty cool. Equal number of monsters your opponents control. And then if this was destroyed by battle card effect, it comes back during the next standby phase. So they just keep coming back. And yeah, you know, 3000 attack. Pretty big. Pretty big. And then um, that's it for the net beast monsters and for support cards. We play two talisman, basically search it out your ritual monsters. So pretty good support. And then two candle uh, searches out the ritual spell. So just to turbo out the deck and for tribute fodder fodder for the ritual spell for the guys. And then three pen. Uh, to grab back the ritual spell from grave, or the ritual monsters back from grave, so pretty good. New guys from Soul Fusion, and then three book uh, to grab the ritual spell back from the graveyard as well. And then we're playing a ritual deck, so you gotta play three Monjus. Uh, just search ritual spell or monster. Pretty simple. And then we play only one hand trap, just three Ash Blossom. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, just kind of stop your opponent, stun him for a little bit. And then that's it for the monster count. And then for spells, uh, play two Call Buddy Grave. Was playing three, but decided to add in another preparation of rights. So two Call Buddy Grave. Tell, you know, protect yourself from searching. Uh, three preparation rights, basically search out the small level 2 ritual monster and then if you already use a ritual spell, add it back or stuff. And then three pre-prep because all the nefties, the nefties is pretty generic so you can search them out with the ritual spell. Ritual spell itself, Rebirth of Nephthys. Pretty good card. It uh, lets you ritual summon, and I believe it lets you pop a card as well. And if you tribute the dev devotee of the Nephthys or the Phoenix, you can destroy a card on the field. So, pretty good for a ritual spell just with an extra bonus. And then I only play one trap. Well, one trap card, but three copies of it, three Tarantals, just because it's a Nephthys deck profile. 
and uh, you want to blow up your guys so you get your effects during the next standby phase. Basically, somewhat, you know, kind of control the board with blowing up their monsters with the big ritual guy and then with Sacred Phoenix blowing up their backfield, so pretty good. Uh, 40 card main deck, and then for the extra deck, um, alright guys, uh, really don't really have to use the extra deck except for the Nafti's monsters, but we do have some options, like Underclock Taker, just, you know, you could decrease the attack and increase, so it's pretty cool. And then, play two of uh, Nafti's a Sacred Preserver, uh, Preserver, I believe that's the name, sorry for the glare, guys. Pretty good card. Um, it basically lets you allow to add the level 8 ring uh, vigil monster and the ritual spell. So it's basically like a preparation of rights. And then you could destroy a Nefti's monster. This card points to an special a Nefti's monster with a different name from your graveyard, but its effects are negated. Sorry guys, got a little confused on the effect. But really good. It helps uh, kind of get your game going, uh, let you do plays. Hey, extender. <laughs> That's the word I was looking let you get your game on? <laughs> and then, um, you, I would play two Nethys of the Sacred Flame, but I have three in this deck profile just because I forgot my Galaxy package, so I am playing three of it. Um, so Perfect. this card, pretty good card actually. It, it just tells your opponent no. Basically, when you uh, have well, this card is in the extra monster zone, your opponent, your opponent's monsters cannot target at these monsters in the main monster zones for attacks. This card gains attack for the number of ritual monsters used for the link summon. One cannot be destroyed by battle. Two cannot be destroyed by card effects, and it gains 1,200 attack. And then three, neither player can target this card with card effects. Also gains 1,200 attack as well. So pretty, pretty cool. Um, I've seen like some crazy, com uh, not combos, but plays where like this would just be on the field <laughs> and your opponent can't get over it. Strong. Strong guy. And then for like some generic stuff, Trish Brania, just because you could just summon Nefties and then banish cards and do some point damage. Uh, play some Nightmares. Uh, like I said, I forgot the Galaxy stuff. Uh, Mermaid, just in case you get a bleed. Uh, Cerberus pops brush summons. Phoenix pops sets. Unicorn spin a card. So pretty standard nowadays for the Nightmare package. Maybe not Mermaid, but Unicorn, Phoenix, and Cerberus. And then for rank four, uh, Boreload. Just I would have Boros Sword, but I, I'm you know poor. So I have to deal with Warload. Uh, basically take your opponent's monster and just attack. Or decrease their attack too, so that's pretty good. And then I, I did proxy out three um, Galaxy Eyes guys you would want to play. It would be one number 107, uh, just to rank up into, or you could even use his effect and attack. Uh, one full armored Galaxy Eyes, and then I would play one Cypher Blade. Uh, just basically two pops, and then big guys out there. So, that's it for the extra deck, 15 cards. Um, sorry about the proxies, but I forgot my Galaxy Eyes guys at uh, in another death box. But um, leave some comments uh, what you guys would play. Uh, I know you want to kind of like just blow up your board and your opponents as well, but to get the net these effects going on and whatnot. Um, leave suggestions, uh, likes, comments, um, check out Sora online on TCG Player, that's our store. Buy out Bonfire Colossus. Oh, and that was the super tech, guys, Bonfire Colossus, because you can pop your fire monsters, <laughs> and it's like $2 secret rare from Cosmo, Cosmo Blazer. Blazer, so, you know, I think it's in Duel Links, too, actually. With that being said, guys, that would be Starfire Duelist, signing out, peace. peace.